All right, so just trying to hyperlapse little test. Uh, first one that you're gonna see uh, is with the GH5 on a tripod, but very quickly moving along using the in-camera time-lapse feature. So I set it at five second intervals, so that gave me enough time to pick up the tripod, move it a couple feet, put it back down, and walking down this uh, boardwalk here using the two by fours to kind of measure out my time. Tried it. It's probably going to be a little shaky because the wind was definitely pushing me around a little bit and I'm using uh, my smaller little go tripod that I keep with me for those kinds of things. And for the second one that you're about to see is the Galaxy S7 with the hyperlapse feature in the phone. And that's just me hand holding it while carrying the camera in the other hand. So it's going to be shaky as well. But I wanted to see how those two kind of compare to each other. Um, in this hyperlapse aspect because both of them will do time-lapse hyperlapses in the f in camera in body whatever you want to call it so it's kind of curious to see how those turned out versus doing it whereas you know a lot of people will just start taking photos and walk through and do it on their own and then stitch them together later so I'm just trying to see it as a time standpoint if it actually worked um, or if it's just way too jumpy and I need to come back and do it um, again. Hurricane came and went. I don't even know if it ever actually made it to a category one or not. Uh, but Tropical Storm Gordon, not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm still picking up pine straw and stuff off my truck and everywhere, but eh, no damage. Had a couple tree limbs and things down. But wanted to get back to talking about the hyperlapse, which is what this whole video is about, and the fact that with the GH5, which I'm currently recording on, I noticed, and you obviously just saw the first clip. It's all over the place, and that was because of the tripod that I was using, and instead of using my heavier duty tripod, which would have helped prevent some of that wind effect, and the head's a little bit tighter on that than on um, the, the little small one, I got a lot of wobble. Um, so going forward, next time I try it, I'm going to obviously use the heavier tripod, uh, but I'm also going to extend my time uh, interval where I was shooting that one at five seconds, figuring that that would give me enough time to take a step, put the reposition the camera and get everyone lined up. It really wasn't. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to a 10 second interval or do the more traditional method of just taking all the photos individually and then stitching them together in Premiere, which actually is a really cool tip for that, is when you go to import your photos into Premiere, click the first one and make sure that they're all numbered in sequence at the bottom of your file box is a little box that says, you know, bring all in sequential order and make it one. And that'll make it just one clip. And so therefore, pretty much every photo is a frame. So now your whole timeline is right there. Um, it doesn't give you the control to manipulate all of them uh, after you bring them into Premiere. But if you want to go ahead and take them into Lightroom or LTR time lapse or any of the other programs, uh, you can do that work out all your kinks, get all your adjustments and everything, and then bring them in as one clip. But that's essentially the easy way to do hyperlapses is with the GH5, or if you have a Galaxy, or I'm pretty sure iPhone has one as well, you can just do it that way if you're not trying to get anything super, super professional. If you are trying to go professional, I would definitely recommend using a DSLR and or mirrorless, uh, micro four thirds, or essentially any camera, and taking one photo at a time and then stitching them together on the other end because then you have the ability to move the frame which if I had done that with a bunch of these photos which I still can do then I could probably fix a lot of that jittery and that moving around inside the frame uh, throughout the video so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and um, that's another Tech Wednesday for me uh, I'm gonna go back to finishing up a few things for some clients and getting back to scouting for this movie as they land uh, next week so Thanks for watching. As always, click like, subscribe, uh, smash the thumbs up button, you know, whatever. And I'll see you in the next one.